Hi guys, today we are making grandma's southern cornbread dressing. I love this stuff on Thanksgiving. So we're going to get started by preheating our ovens to 350. And before we get started, we want to do some prep work, okay? We want to cook our chicken breast and shred it up. You can bake it, fry it, whatever. Just cook up a chicken breast, okay? And dice it up. Alright, next you want to have some toast. It's going to add some flavor to our dressing. And then you want to have some day-old cornbread. Don't get the fluffy sweet stuff. You want day-old cornbread, plain, boring, blah cornbread, okay? Now you want to add, I mean, I'm sorry. Now you want to chop up your vegetables, your celery, your onions, your bell peppers, your red peppers. Just go ahead and get all that chopped up. And I have a cornbread recipe on my blog just in case you don't have one. Alright, now I have some butter. I have... Uh, melt it over medium heat. We're gonna throw in our chopped veggies just like that Just toss it on in there and give it a nice little stir. We're gonna saute that um, Just until it's like tender to the bite and then after that you want to just set it aside Okay, now in a large bowl you want to crumble up that cornbread just like that And now you want to just crumble up the toast Okay and now we're going to add that shredded chicken. And in goes our sauteed veggies. And I'll just use your hands or spatula just to get everything combined. Okay. Now in goes the seasonings. Just get everything mixed in, get it combined. Now it's time for our chicken broth. Please do not use water, okay? We want flavor, soul, chicken broth, okay? You can also use turkey broth. Here's the kind that I use right here. Just add the chicken paste to water and voila. Okay, add that in there. We're only going to add enough to get it nice and soggy. You don't want this stuff swimming in broth because then you're going to have a really, really nasty um, dressing when it's done. Just add enough in to get it nice and soggy looking okay now you want to taste it make sure you taste it adjust the seasonings get it tasting exactly how you want it to taste and then when you're satisfied go ahead and throw in those eggs and then just use a spatula mix it in get everything well incorporated and then you're going to just place your dressing into a butter casserole dish just pour it all in there and then just smooth it out with a spoon or an offset spatula just get it nice and even all right, now it's gonna pop this into the oven. We're gonna bake it for about 45 minutes to an hour. And when it comes out, you wanna let it sit for a while. It'll firm up and then you're ready. Go ahead, bring on the turkey and the gravy. Mm -mm -mm. Now I love the consistency of this stuff because it's so moist, it's not dry, it's perfect. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you're gonna make it on Turkey Day. I will talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.